Violence in therapy is so important. It is actually considered for one of the most useful tools, but not everyone will feel comfortable with silence, but not everyone also will use the silence for the therapeutic outcome. Silence in psychotherapy and counseling allows you as a client to speak about issues without us interrupting you. This is us, you know, presenting to you uh, an ear, we are hearing you. But sometimes we also allowing you to have a space to process what is it that you just said, to hear your own words, to hear your own thoughts, you need that space. So the reflections is our primary goal. We try to encourage that, but also we want to facilitate expression of your emotions without any interruptions in this in the session. And we want to convey to you empathy as well through, believe it or not, through silence. We want to let you know that it's okay. What you thinking, how you processing your life, your issues in life is okay. We want to observe you in unconditional accepting way. We call it unconditional positive regard. Okay. And silence is one of those tools which enables us to do it. Unfortunately, sometimes it comes as an awkward thing, like this awkward silence. Like that. And then you think to yourself, then what? What's next? So if you find yourself feeling troubled to understand what's going on with that silence in the therapy, know that this is your time to make connection with what is going on inside. Your therapist is providing that space for your feelings so you can nurture them for yourself. We as therapists, we are not your nurturers. We are equipped we are equipped to teach you how to nourish yourself and one of those tools is silence a space when you can be here and now with your thoughts and emotions and what you just said as well so that you don't have to feel embarrassed but go towards acceptance okay and in islamic counseling we would call it acceptance of your kadr of your destiny okay so the silence is enable you to connect yourself with yourself, but also accept the faith. Okay. Now, silence uh, can occur between um, topics and intratopics. Let me just explain that to you. So, intratopic silence is when a therapeutic tool, uh, meaning a silence, is used that. Um, can uh, help you to go deeper in your material and allow you to think about what to say next. This is probably the deepest moment of silence in the therapy. And why uh, reflection is important? Because, you know, Tafakur is actually recommended by Quran to us, yeah? This book is for those ayats are for people who contemplate. Contemplation is the fact in Arabic. So, so as an Islamic counselor, as an Islamic therapist, we probably use it a lot. And we also encourage to do it through uh, different traditions of the Prophet For instance, um, we, we know that Prophet advised do not um, talk much unless for the zikr to Allah, because much talk, talking leads to con, uh, conjection of the heart and, uh, further, and it furthers human from Allah, right? And make you turn you and your heart into one who is unwilling to receive guidance. So guidance, that we've just learned from this hadith, you can find it in Trimidi, is a guidance from your therapist, but also guidance from God. So, you know, in Islamic psychology, you know that uh, 
very well that we incorporate spiritual interventions, don't we? So by, e by incorporating those spiritual interventions, we also want to believe, we want to facilitate for you as a therapist that moment when God is speaking to you or through you, when you're receiving that uh, basira or firasha or uh, inspiration, when you realizing that there is the wisdom inside of you. And so silence had been recommended by many, by many. Like Imam Ali, he said, the wiser the man is, the less he will speak. Yeah. And Jafar Sadiq said, one knows the value of his speech, will also know the value of silence. In fact, if one adopts silence, he will value his speech and therefore guard it like he guards his wealth. Al Quraysh, right, reported that Muad ibn Jabal, he said, talk to people like, um, talk to people little, okay, and talk to your Almighty Lord often, for perhaps your heart will see Allah Almighty. And we know this really famous, beautifully insp uh, inspiring uh, hadith. We all know that whoever believes in God in the last day should speak a good words or remain silent. So how to remain, remain the silence? You understand how important it is. If you understand that this is a tool to connect you with yourself, but also with your Lord. Convey empathy when you sit with another person. Uh, uh, facilitate those reflections for another person. Don't jump into summarizing or reflecting. Just give another person a chance, chance but also challenge them. Challenge them to the amana, to the level of responsibility. There'll be plenty of ambiguity. When you sit with your clients, you probably see it. Or when you give nasiha, you know, you're one of the halils. We probably, you know, you probably all are, if you're listening to me and you're wondering how to do it in a better way, then challenging the, the misconceptions or challenging the discrepancies in these stories is one of the tools that allow to bring silence. Okay, not to embarrass them, but to put them into tafakkur. So if you use the silence on the purpose, right, the, the client will explore themselves deeper. But also you encourage clients to carry the burden of the conversation for themselves. There will be indirectly pushed into exploring themselves. So the, the difference here is uh, some clients, they might come for already so, made solutions, whereas you trying to encourage them to the faculty through silence so they can actually come out with that wisdom inside of them through what? Through silence. Look, it's not easy to work with silence. There's so much more I could tell you about silence. It is, important tool and uh, and I hope you've learned quite a bit about it in terms of benefits and how to do it. Don't forget to sign to my program YouTube channel and that is called ADS therapy for more videos like this and if you need to talk about it more book a call. I offer free call to all of you who's watching. Thank you so much for your